So here's Chateau Saint-Michel, and this is their 2013 dry Riesling. Um, you know, this is one of these wines that every year ends up on somebody's or everybody's best buy list. Um, it's just, it's just too good a, a wine for the money. Over delivers. Um, you know, of course, from Columbia Valley in Washington. And Columbia Valley just seems to have a really great microclimate for Riesling. Um, if you think about it, there are similarities to uh, Alsace, where of course they grow great Rieslings. Um, you're on the, uh, the leeward side of the Cascade Mountains, just so in Alsace you have the Vosges Mountains, and Alsace is on that leeward side, protected from the weather, from the winds, from the rain, um, and it becomes uh, somewhat arid. And so the grapes get really good sun, they get nice ripening, um, and the grapevines have to struggle a little bit. So the grapes really, um, you know, they tend to be a little bit lower yielding, have a little bit more uh, intensity and character to them. And um, that's what makes a good Riesling. Wow, it's a nice nose on this. Mm, I get a little bit of that, uh, which is something you get from Riesling, so a sort of a, a petroly note, which is really nice, along with lime peel. Really nice twist of lime on there. Some, maybe some grapefruit under there. Some peach. Nice peach in there too. Let's taste. Yeah, so on the palate, that lime peel really leads the way, really comes on. And it's very, very nice and tangy, good acidity. And then you get that minerality that comes through, a little bit of a, sort of a, a chalky essence that hangs on on the finish. Gives the wine a little bit of a grip, a little, gives a little bit of um, sort of intensity. Um, yeah, so this is a wine that Again, you can match this up with um, some bigger flavored foods, you know, obviously good with seafood, but I could see you having this with, with a nice veal chop with say a lemon butter or something like that. It might marry up really well. Anyway, happy drinking.